Hey guys, this is Leor with Angle and Volkers of the Boston, and in this week's Neighborhood Overview, we're going to go talk about East Somerville. thought about Somerville you may think about some of the different neighborhoods such as Porter Square, Davis Square, Union Square right those are typically the neighborhoods we think of but here's one new neighborhood you should keep your eye out both from an investment perspective and a living perspective and that's East Somerville so it's right East Somerville is right next to Charlestown uh, you also might know it because it's right next to Assembly Square right the new mega development where there's a bunch of retail uh, condos apartments office space right partners healthcare the big partners healthcare building is right off 93 plus not only is it right in assembly which also has a t-stop right that's huge but it's also right next to the casino in everett right you're literally just across the river uh, from from the casino right by wellington the wellington shopping center in medford so it's a really convenient area um, that is just starting to blow up right now Right, because those you know those more traditional neighborhoods in Somerville, those have kind of been going on for a while now, and they've been really popular for a number of number of years. Right, there's been plenty of development there. I mean, prices are skyrocketing there. Right, I mean, if you're going to go Davis Square or Porter Square, you're typically looking at seven eight hundred per square foot if you're going to buy a brand new house. But in East Somerville, you still have it's still just starting to really blow up, so you still have an opportunity to get in on the ground floor. I think. Right. Um, and if I had a, if I had a crystal ball, I'd obviously be a billionaire, but I, you know, I'm, I'm one that I'm sticking my, sinking my money in this area. There's a few reasons why. So not only do we have assembly square in Everett and the casino in Everett, right? They're right next to East Somerville, but you're also starting to see just a ton of new development coming in here, mainly driven also by the new T-stop extension that's coming in, right? So the Green Line extension is coming in into East, uh, into East Somerville. And it's going to have a stop here it's going to have a stop at winter hill and what we typically see anywhere around boston is when you put a t-stop the commuters move in the millennials move in rents start to go up and prices start to go up as well so if you look between all the different development between the green line extension coming in between assembly square you just kind of have a perfect storm of why east somerville may be the next new big hub um, that I think is going to be huge in the next couple of years and not only that but it's also you know it's a great little it's a great convenience spot right I mean you're right you're right next to 93 you can get it anywhere into Boston very very quickly I mean if you drive from East Somerville into Boston it'll take you about 10 to 15 minutes right so it's a it's a super convenient spot you're right next to Charlestown um, and like I said there's so many you know there's so many different attractions and developments going on that it's just hard to see this place not blowing up especially as the younger folks move in the condo buyers the condo renters all start moving in so if you thought about investing or even either investing into a rental property or buying a single family i think either one of those i think you really need to keep your eye out on east somerville because you know i think you can get us you can still get in on the on the bottom of uh, the trends and i think within four five six years you're gonna see huge huge upside I'm really high on it and like I said that's why I'm stink sinking my own money in there and I suggest you look into it as well. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.